All right, my friends, how are you today? Aaron here bringing your daily horoscope for Wednesday, the 4th of August, 2021. We've got the moon moving through the later degrees of Gemini. And as we have the North Node in Gemini, we've got the Moon in Gemini right now. This is our, where our emotional security relies in us being free thinkers, right? This is my thoughts. This is my communication. This is my insight, right? In Gemini, this is, this is about self. And we have some hard aspects early in the morning, depending where you're at in the world. Um, the Moon is square to Neptune. How high is the sky? You know, and people want to paint the picture for you of what they want you to believe that this world is. It's a playground. It's an illusion, right? Uh, Neptune, Pisces. Um, we have a, let me show you here. So the, the three that I'm looking at here, we have a square to Neptune. We have a sesqui square here to Saturn, the authority of the community. And we have a quincunx to Pluto. This is, I don't quite see the purpose of transforming or trying to change my mind or thinking when the whole world is thinking this way and seeing this way. It's doomsday and everything's going to be over. And, you know, and this is what the collective thinks. It's hard to be a free thinker. Uh, okay. And, and, and not only is this moon square to Neptune, but Neptune is still septile to Uranus. Neptune has a, uh, a quintile which is another septile kind of energy, but it's more of a creative energy connecting to the North Node. So not only do we have this like, hey, reality, whatever reality is, the illusion, the dream, the physical world, the emotional world, the, the intuitive, the spiritual world, it's all the same thing, okay? And, and, and this is like, look, how, you know, it's like breakthrough. This is like this great spiritual awakening happening, not just individually, but globally beautiful huge spiritual awakening happening where it doesn't matter what we believe we're all in this together and we all have to figure out how to maneuver in this and we all have to figure out how to change this very old system together so being this free thinker being this individual independent thinker free from the collective thought we're going to see this beautiful change. And, and while Neptune, that, that quintile that we were just speaking of earlier, this creative way to maneuver about going things differently or going about things with a unique perspective and not necessarily having an emotional attachment to perspectives or to beliefs or to ideas, but just simply allowing the ideas to come and to flow. All right. As the day moves on, we get some positive aspects. Now we start to get this, as you see here, this trine, Jupiter in the community, abundance and joy, trine to the moon. So, so it's like there's a reward by not being stubborn in our way of thinking, but by being open and flexible and seeing the duality in multiple ways of viewing something or looking at something or learning something or communicating something. So there's, there's a joy now. There's this joy. And then we have where we couldn't see this connection with Pluto. Maybe we see now there's this septile happening. The moon, my emotional need is in learning new knowledge. My emotional comfort is in learning and seeking new knowledge. And when I seek this new knowledge, when I seek something different than my own way of thinking, there's a huge transformation that's happening. And we still have Venus here, what we love and what we value, creating that septile to Chiron, healing of oneself. So these, although they're not really aspecting each other, they're, they're playing off of one another in this grand scheme, this, this evolutionary you know, astrology here. It's like we have this spiritual awakening, we have this joy of the community, and as we are these free thinkers, basically what this is, is like we're going to find more free thinkers. You know, when I first started digging into astrotheology, I started to find more people you know, not many, but I still found more people that were into astrotheology. So it's like once we, you know, that becomes illuminated or this is where we put our, our necessity, you know, there's comfort in learning this stuff. And once we find the comfort, it's like we find other people in the community that are also thinking or seeing things this way. And this brings this like huge uh, revelation to self. It's like, oh my goodness. And now, you know, it's like I, I value this so much and, and this is changing my perspective. And I get to change and, uh, and focus now on how, okay, what can I do to deliver this? How can I, you know, be, a, be of service to other people? Moving forward a little bit more, we're going to have Mars now creating a septile to Saturn. Mars in Virgo, 
Saturn in Aquarius. Again, that septile, very powerful fate and destined connection, the universe helping us out. Now, Mars here is our planet of action in Virgo. This is, again, very focused, focusing. You know, this is a great month for setting goals, for writing lists, for creating vision boards, for seeing, you know, not just thinking about it, Mercury here in, in Leo, not just thinking, but seeing it through and making a physical representation of what you want to achieve or create. And the septile between Mars making things happen is really Saturn's helper. You know, uh, in astrology, uh, Mars loves Capricorn. Mars and Saturn, this, it, they're just, it's again, it's like Saturn's little helper. Whereas Saturn might be the teacher, this is like, you know, teacher's right hand assistant checking your hall pass or making sure that things are going in order or whatnot. So this is like, okay, we need things in order. You know, we have to see the big vision of the future here in order for these things to play out. So this isn't just focusing on what I have now. I'm not, I'm not making a vision board for, for what's in front of me. I'm making a vision board for what I want to see, what I want to create. So there's this interesting day playing out of like being an individual thinker, uh, uh, not being bullied by the outside sources, my, not being overwhelmed by uh, the idea that other people, how they want to create this world to see. And then as, as you're you know kind of going through that it's like this point of illumination comes and everything, you know, kind of clicks and makes sense. And we got the moon moving home into Cancer around 5, 6 o'clock. And now we're creating a sept out of the south node. So that means emotionally we're in our safe space. We've learned. We've held our ground. Uh, we've connected with who we need to connect it with and now we get to connect back with ourselves We get to connect on a very emotional level here and we get to release So we get the next, you know, two days Wednesday Thursday into Friday You know coming back home coming back to self coming back to nurturing ourselves coming back to nurturing the home family the people that we love the most and Now we, it's like we have this new perspective by what we've learned here on Tuesday into Wednesday and this, and this involves a lot of emotional healing. We still have this grand fire trine happening as well with the sun and Chiron in an exact trine today. Sun hero of our story saying, I'm not giving up no matter what. I'm going to see it through, whatever it may be. I have the strength. I have the stamina. I have the creativity. I have the playfulness. I have the energy. Uh, you know, it's, it's, it's loving every inch and every part of yourself and with this Chiron here in Aries. You know, we're, we're shining this light onto every part of ourselves. A lot of self-love and a lot of letting go of self-doubt, a lot of letting go of self, um, you know, beating up, sabotage, self-sabotage. You know, the sextile still here to, to Saturn as Saturn is retrograde, getting closer and closer, uh, tighter to this sextile, to the south node. It's a reminder because this, this has already happened once this, you know, uh, year, last year into this year. You know, the south node Saturn connection has already happened. So this is making sure that we're staying on top of it. We really have to let go of this old dead weight in order to move forward with this new vision. We're not going to allow the things, you know, from the past to be, you know, you know holding us down uh, so we can run free, so we can fly free. You know, this caged bird is cageless. So we got to go. And whatever we thought, you know, it's like the door is open, but we think we have to stay. So it's beautiful freedom. My friends, have a beautiful Wednesday. As always, thank you for hanging out with me. I love you. <laughs> I wish you enough on this awesome day. Full of insight. We'll see you tomorrow.